Hey guys, thought I'd put together a little video. You can see my breath. It's cold out here. Thought I'd put a little video together on um, Tecumseh points. If you're lucky enough to have uh, an older Tecumseh with points, show you how to fix them, how to replace them. Here we go. Here we have an era 1980 Tecumseh that has never had its points replaced. Um, it is a family member's, so that's how I know it never has. Uh, it did have an electric starter, so I pulled that off. Um, then what you're going to want to do is pull out three head bolts, the ones in the shroud, right in the cover. And then there's one bolt down on each side. So the cover should just pull back and a little persuasion, we should be able to get it off. There we go. Okay, if you're lucky to have an lucky enough to have an impact, use an impact. That's the easiest way. Otherwise, you can get a, a ratchet on there and then get a screwdriver propped in between one of these teeth. Or don't want to put in these plastic fins, but you're going to need to hold this flywheel steady somehow. But you see how easy that makes it. Okay. Now the trick. So I pulled out the little cup is to be able to get the flywheel off. It's a press fit. Um, it's kind of a tapered thing. It just needs an impact to get it off. Now, my favorite way to do it is again with an air tool, is with an air hammer. And I just use that in the center. And I take a big screwdriver somewhere. And I, I have a clear space on the back and I pry it out and I use that. But I'll show you the other method. Put the nut back on and make it about flush so I don't damage the threads. I give it a good amount of pressure and then I just whack it. There, it went. Now if you look really closely, that method put a fair amount of dents in my nut but if I did round over the nut head by unscrewing this that straightens them all out so we're good so put the nut back on hammer it with the nut on my preferred method is the other way pull this whole assembly off there's gonna be a little key right there you can pull that out okay so you'll have this spring that goes over the whole case you just bring it out of the bottom. It just hooks on a little lip on the bottom. It'll swing out of the way. Now we can remove our points cover. Let's pull off all, let's pull off these side wires because that's part of it. Let's, this is your condenser up here. So let's remove that. The whole thing just pulls right off. So we got our old condenser off. Right there. So let's take a new one right here. And it's pretty straightforward. Bolt just goes through it. And you just screw it right on, back in the same spot. And the entire points assembly, including this thing on the side, just slides out. Yeah, came out a little faster than I wanted. One of the first things I want to do with points when I first get them is I want to make sure that when they close, they're flat. Sometimes you'll get them and they won't be perfectly flat with each other and you can actually bend this. You know, see where it bends? You can actually bend that so they close perfectly flat with each other before you install them. And then once you get them as good as possible, then we install them. There's a little pin right here. It goes in this top hole. The bottom hole is where our screw was. So you kind of just, you well, know, let's install the bottom part first. I just got that lightly set in there. We'll take the rest of the points.
Okay, so we got that pushed in. Now we're gonna take our nut, and we're gonna screw that back on. Okay? And what this is gonna allow us to do is just be able to rotate the engine. Now we can rotate the engine. And you're gonna wanna rotate it till the engine, till the uh, points are opened up the max amount. And Tecumseh has a little arrow on them. Right there, you guys will probably barely be able to see it when it's opened up to the max. So that is where I wanna set that gap right in there to 20 thousandths. What I do is I take three feeler gauges, okay? I take a 21 thousandths, a 20 thousandths, and a 19 thousandths, okay? And I clean them. I make sure the tips have no grease, no oil on them whatsoever. And usually I like to start out with the skinniest one, the 19 thousandths, and get it close. Okay? You'll notice that there is a, let's loosen this up just a little bit so we can move it. There's a slot right here. That allows you to grab under the points and bend it up. It also allows you to wedge under the top and bend it back down. So I'm going to wedge it a little bit closed. Go we get close to the 19 thousandths or so. A little bit more. And I have it loose but not so loose. Okay, so I got my gap set. I use the three filler gauges just so I can try one, the next, just kind of feel when I get it right at my 20 thousandths so I can get it just right. And now I'll rotate the whole engine at least an entire turn. You know, that allows the points to open and close. And then I can check it again. So, there we go. It's set. Um, this, if your points came with more grease or a new felt pad, just pull this old felt pad off, put a little new new grease on it. If not, you can apply just a little bit of grease in here. Just a little bit, okay? Now, if you have oil in here, that will foul your points, and that's because your front seal is bad, and this, you can get to your front seal just by this this piece actually here, this, this eccentric, your camshaft or crankshaft timing gear or whatever you want to call it actually slide just pulls right off just with your fingers and you can actually access that seal right there and pull that off you know because it'll just keep fouling them but that's how you put the points on and then we just put it right back together and we'll fire it up and while you got your recoil start off now is a great time to lube it up and one of the best things to lube these up is actually transmission fluid just lube it lubricate in there um, where the metal is at the top Dribble some down in there, holding this flat. Dribble some down in there so it hits the metal plate behind and it'll run down the back side when you assemble it and lubricate the spring. And then you'll have that nice recoil that always goes back in perfectly like it should. But I reinstalled the head bolts. Now, you gotta look up to see your exact torque specs, but if you don't have torque specs, they're just good and snug. Not like overly tight because they actually kind of stretch in there. So. Kind of do, got to do by feel or get a torque wrench, but if not, if you don't have a torque wrench, just snug. It's aluminum, they strip out, so just be careful. Let's fire it up. Choke on, key on, ladder up. If you haven't already, subscribe. I do a lot of small engine fixing, but I do a lot of other stuff on here. Um, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Um, tell me your thoughts or if you have any comments or you need some help. I'm always glad to help people out there in the YouTube world. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thanks guys. See you soon. Bye.